the Nigerian government has condemned the decision of the United Kingdom to grant asylum to alleged persecuted members of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipo, and the movement for the actualization of sovereign state of Biafra. In the Information Minister, al Hajilai Muhammad, called it a disrespect to Nigeria, sabotage on the fight against terrorism and undermining of Nigerian security. The government officials spoke to the news agency of Nigeria in an interview program on Tuesday. Mohammed said the issue is within the purview of the Foreign Affairs Minister, whom he believes will handle it appropriately. As the spokesman for the federal government of Nigeria, I will say that if indeed the report that the UK will grant asylum to supposedly persecuted IPOB and MASOB members is true, then something is wrong somewhere. Against the backdrop of the fact that IPOB is not only proscribed, but also designated as a terrorist organization here in Nigeria, the UK's decision is disrespectful to Nigeria as a nation. The decision amounts to sabotaging the fight against terrorism and generally undermining Nigerian security. It is not only unconscionable, but it is also inexplicable, he said. Muhammad further recalled the heightened attacks against security of agencies in the southeast zone, alleging that IPOB had been indicted as masterminds. He said that the decision amounts to sabotaging the fight against terrorism and generally undermining Nigerian security. And the question to me would be, in what way? But let's continue, though. It is not only unconscionable, but it is also inexplicable, he said. Mohammed further recalled the heightened attacks against security agencies in the southeast zone, alleging that IPOB had been indicted as masterminds. Nigeria said for the UK to choose this time, to give succor to IPOB calls to question its real intentions. If we could go down the memory lane, what the UK has done is like Nigeria offering asylum to members of the IRA before the 1998 Good Friday Peace Agreement, he said. The UK visas and immigration released new guidelines to its decision makers on how to consider and grant asylum applications by members of the Biafran group. Asylum is to be granted to persecuted members of IPOP and MASO, the UK stated. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? You see that Nigeria as it is and Nigerian government, all they want is just to continue to um, deal with people take people's rights for granted, and so many other these things. It is really, really unfortunate and so sad, if you'd ask me. Because how come, you know, the government would be kicking... A, is, is it that they just de derive joy in persecuting people? Because that is what it is. That is what it is. It's most likely as if they are even trying to persecute people. You know? They are interested in persecuting people, and that is what you see they are doing to the Biafrans, to the people in the uh, southeast. It is really, really sad and unfortunate. But be that as it were, you know, the other international or international countries' organizations are not like Nigeria, and that is what it is. They still respect humans, they respect human rights, and they have respect for people. So what the Nigerian government is actually telling us is that they want to continue to persecute people, they want to be killing people, do whatever they like to people, despite trampling upon their human rights. To a very large extent, it does not make sense and it doesn't speak well of 
them at all. But be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular mystery as it were. I stand to be corrected, but what Lai Muhammad is saying, in other words, is that the UK is working against Nigeria and sabotaging the efforts of uh, the government against terrorism. But in what way are IPOP terrorists? In what way are they uh, people demanding for self-freedom or self-determination? In what way are they, uh, uh, are they terrorists? Because these people are only the, the, the asking for uh, their self-determination. So to a very large extent, the government seems to be uh, misplaced. Their priority is misplaced. The people who are the real terrorists, the Boko Haram guys, the bandits in the north, they are not talking about them, they are not concentrating on them, but they have abandoned the northern part of the country, abandoned the people, and they are concentrating on people who are seeking for self-determination, whom the government has mistreated, whom the government has abandoned, whom the government has openly discriminated against. They are the people that they are calling, uh, uh, what's it called, um, terrorists. You know, it's, it's laughable if you ask me, honestly speaking. I stand to be corrected. If the Nigerian government does not want the UK to grant people asylum, then they should stop you know, persecuting the IPOP members and all those who are asking or demanding for their freedom. Because it is not a crime to seek freedom. It is not a crime to ask for um, freedom. If people don't want to stay or coexist any longer and they are seeking to uh, go their separate way, then you allow them. It is not a do or die affair. It is not a do or die matter. You don't, um, how do I put it? You don't force people to stay where they don't want to stay or to become what they don't want to become. So I find it difficult and, you know, unimagined or imaginable to understand why the Nigerian government is angry that the UK is granting Nigerians asylum. The same thing happened when um, DJ Switch was to be granted asylum by Canada after the hashtag answers, you know, massacre. So what is it that they want people to still remain in this country and be killed so that they can just waste people's life? It is really, really sad and unfortunate. Well, guys, drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And about to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.